represent Texas 11th Congressional District, which is 29 counties and it includes Midland, Odessa, my hometown of San Angelo, where Goodfellow Air Force Base is. That's the district I'm from. I grew up there. My family's been from there for generations. And so when the, the incumbent decided to retire after eight terms, uh, then we made the decision to, uh, to jump into this. Being from there, understanding how hard it is to farm or to ranch, which is what my family did. Um, understanding how hard it is uh, to be in the oil field to produce uh, the energy that our country has needed. And to be able to transition from a service uh, in the military to a service in, in the public sector, the public service, was really important. There's multiple uh, people who have called me that are Air Force Academy graduates. I am proud to be the first male graduate of the Air Force Academy to be elected to either the House or the Senate. Uh, and Secretary Wilson um, kind of chided me and said, it's about time you guys caught up with us, uh, with she and Martha McSally that are the first two. I hope that more Air Force Academy grads will, will come to Congress. Uh, regardless of party affiliation, we need their service. Coming in as a freshman in a political climate that's very divisive has been a tough challenge for a lot of us who served in the military, especially because we understand that mission first, you know, people always kind of mindset. I'm part of a caucus that's called Four Country. That caucus is, is made up of veterans who served, regardless of party affiliation, veterans who know what it means to put the country first. Of course, there will be partisan issues and, and those will always exist, but probably the most disappointing thing that I've seen in the first three months is not having those conversations, not having those debates. We need to agree to disagree and at the end of it, shake hands, move forward, and to heal this country from, I would say, a really divisive environment. We are going to disagree on policy, that's okay, but to be respectful of the human that's sitting across the aisle, uh, I learned that at the Air Force Academy. You know, it does not matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what your background is, none of that matters, it's the respect that we all have, the mutual respect that I think will heal this place. So it gives me hope that, uh, that, that folks would step forward, put their hat in the ring, um, and take part in this really important process. At the end of the day, if I can help our veterans and their families, if I can help the constituents who do agriculture or oil and gas uh, or whatever their small business is, then that's the why for me. To be a graduate of the Air Force Academy, to represent not just my district, but also um, that institution is enormously important. Uh, it, it does weigh on me and I think about it all the time. And whether graduates agree with policy decisions, I think all of us want to in our professional lives be representing the core values of the Air Force Academy at all times.